is rap, nigga. Right? Credentials. Since this whole shit started. Since this whole shit started. No one has rapped but me. Nobody rapped on that phone yesterday. I got off of that shit and rapped for 15 minutes. And put out a song. The song wasn't even directed at Royce. I didn't even know them niggas was even talking. I did that shit after I got off the phone with Lux and heard Mook in the background talking shit. Like what he doing is so extra special. I could do that shit in 30 minutes. You take weeks to do your shit with preparation and a whole team of battle rappers. to bounce. You got a whole crew of niggas you rap with. I'm by my mother myself. That, I did that shit before I even knew them niggas was on Instagram. And Lux called me and said niggas was on Instagram. Just to show niggas that shit ain't nothing to me because I'm me. This Lupe motherfucking fiasco, nigga. It may be impressive to them niggas in the crowd. That shit don't mean nothing to a nigga like me. The same way that when you stand across from a nigga like Lux or you stand across from a nigga like Goods or you stand across from a nigga like fucking, uh, Hollow the Don or Sue Surf or K Shine or fucking Soul Con or Mav Hoffa or Marv Wonderful or Daylight or King Los or Head Ice or fucking Pat Stay or fucking Disaster. They gonna look at all that shit you doing like this shit ain't shit. Or Geech Gotti and uh, Jack Boy Maine. Them niggas gonna you can get up there and pop all that shit. Them niggas gonna turn around and look at you like you ain't said nothing because it's battle rap. That's rap. Nigga not supposed to be impressed. Right? Talk that shit to Big Cannon. He don't like that shit ain't shit. Talk that shit to Tuna. Right? Talk that shit to Big T. He don't like that shit ain't shit. Right? That shit ain't shit. Because that's what it is. You're not supposed to take that shit personal. You're supposed to rap. And I repeat. Since this shit started. A month ago. When it was all cool and chilling. Before niggas was getting called b Before all that happened, nobody was rapping. Nobody has rapped. Remove the street shit. Remove the bully shit. Remove the intellectual shit. Remove, let's, let's get paid for it. Let's remove the URL shit. Let's remove the EO dub shit. Let's remove all that ring shit. Nigga, we've been on Instagram Live 20 times. Nobody has rapped except me. And that one live that we had when I brought in Osiris Red and I bought in the EO Dub dudes and Mickey Fax was there and the energy changed because you was dealing with rappers. And everybody had to fucking rap. None of them niggas have rapped. Ransom ain't rapped. No, nobody rapped. But niggas is talking about less rap, but nobody has rapped. You could have spit writtens. You're supposed to have some in your clip, right? You could just hit niggas with 80 writtens. You could spit your old shit. Nothing. You can freestyle. Nothing. Nothing. But now niggas want to talk about it's Lupe talking about his politics. You see how nigga talking about the politics? How he don't want to do this with that? Because I already talked to Royce about URL, and it's like, why would we do that? If we're gonna get paid. If this some hype shit and we, me and you finna just businessman this shit, we finna Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather this shit, fuck we finna get these niggas 50% for. That was the conversation that Mickey keep talking about. Beasley called Mick. Uh, yo, Beasley, I talked to Beasley, right? On fucking Clubhouse. Came back through Mick because niggas can't get to me. My manager's in prison. So... If you want to talk to my manager or if you want to have him, like Mickey said, he's not my manager. My manager's in jail. Been in jail since the fucking cool. Niggas know. If you want to do a business deal with me, Royce know when we supposed to do some shit. Nigga, we call him from the joint. Right? Niggas talking about this, talking about that. And it's like, it's politics. Like, nigga, that shit's a TV show. Right? Y'all got... All kinds of fucking bags, right? Personally, I don't want to do it. Professionally, why would I take half? Nigga, I, 
You, this the same nigga who been shitted on by record labels his whole life. Why the fuck would I jump back in that shit with you if the deal ain't finna be fair? Give us 100% of everything. And I want equity. When I say that, I'm scared. When I say that, I'm scared. A nigga just said it. Oh, you scared. Of who? I write better than all them niggas. Combined. You scared. If Dame Dash say that shit, if Royce say that shit, if a nigga that y'all like say that shit, oh, he a genius. He a businessman. Right? Guru, see? That's how businessman move. You just ain't supposed to just start rapping. You're supposed to make these niggas pay. But when I say that shit, this nigga scared. That double standard shit whack, man.